Dr. Lecter, my name is Clary Starlin. May I speak with you? Good morning. Doctor, we have had a hard time with psychological profiling. I came here to ask for your help with a questionnaire. We, being the behavioral science unit at Quantico, you know Jack Crawford's I expect? Yes, I am. Can I see your credentials? Time expires in a week. You're not here by three hours early. I'm still in training at the academy. Jack Crawford sent a trainee to me. We're talking about psychological profiling, Doctor, not the Bureau. Perhaps you can decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified. Mm. It's rather slippery of you, Officer Sparkle. What did Miggs say to you? In the next cell, multiple Miggs, he hissed at me like a sick. He said, I can smell you. I see. I myself cannot. You use Evian skin cream. Sometimes you are worried of death. Not today. You bought your best bag though, didn't you? Yes. It's much better than those shoes. Perhaps they'll catch up. I doubt it. Did you do those drawings, Doctor? Yes. That's the Duomo scene from the Belvedere. Do you know Florence? All that details. Just from memory. Memory, Officer Starling, is what I have. Instead of me. Dr. Lecter, I'd like you to please consider- No, 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 no. Who do you find? Be courteous and receptive to courtesy. You established trust with the entire century. You got Migs and now this ham-handed segue into a questionnaire. It won't do. It's stupid and boring. I'm only asking you to look at the questionnaire, Doctor. Either you will or you Jack won't. Crawford must be very busy indeed if he's recruiting help from the student body. Busy hunting that new one. Buffalo Bill. Bill. Such a naughty boy. Did Crawford send you to ask for my advice on this? No, I came because... How many women has he used our bill? Five. So far. All flayed? Partially. Yes. A doctor, that's an active case. I'm not. Do you involved. know why they call him Buffalo Bill? Tell me. The newspapers won't say. I'll tell you if you fill out this questionnaire. It started out as a bad joke from Kansas City Homicide. They said, This one likes to skin his humps. Witless and receive. Tell me, Officer Starling, why do you think he takes their skins? Really what they deserve. It excites him. Most serial, serial killers keep some sort of trophy. I did not. No. You ate yours. Send that to the police. Officer Starling, do you think you can dissect me with this blunt little tool? Dr. Lecture, I only You're want so to You're so ambitious, aren't you? You know what you look like to me with a good bag and cheap shoes? You look like a rube. A well-scrubbed, hustling rube with a little taste. Good nutrition has given you some length of bone, but you're not more than one generation from poor white trash, are you, Officer Starling? And that accent you're trying so desperately to show. You're West Virginia. What was your father, dear? Was he a coal miner? Did he stink of the world? 
Oh, how quickly the boys found me. All those tedious, sticky fumblings in the back seats of cars where you could only dream of getting us, getting any of us, getting all the way to the FBI. You see a lot, Dr. Lecter. But are you strong enough to turn that high-powered perception onto yourself? Look at yourself and write down the truth. Unless, of course, you're afraid to. You're a tough one, aren't you? Reasonably so, yes. And you'd hate for people to think you were confident. Why wouldn't that stink? Well, you're far from calm enough, Mr. Starling. All you have is the fear. Now, please excuse me. Good day. And the questionnaire? A census taker tried to test me in this. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Fly home, Officer Starling.